uncomfortable was when he put his hands around my neck. But at that point, things began to very rapidly kind of fall apart and just really get out of hand. That was Capri Anderson speaking out yesterday right here on Good Morning America with her shocking account of her stormy night with Charlie Sheen. She's now filed criminal charges against the actor. She did that yesterday, and he's now firing back with his own allegations. That's right, Rob. And Charlie Sheen is accusing Capri Anderson of extortion. His lawsuit claims Anderson threatened to make false allegations about him unless he paid her a million dollars. The lawyer is standing by live, but first, Ashley Banfield has the details on the countersuit. It's a bi-coastal legal battle pitting a porn star against the highest paid actor on TV. Charlie Sheen is suing Capri Anderson for what he alleges is a million dollar extortion plot. He claims she demanded money to keep quiet about what happened in his Plaza Hotel suite on October 26th. But she has taken her story to the press and to the New York City police where she told them he threatened her life and assaulted her. Sheen denies that. TMZ cameras caught up with her. You hope Charlie Sheen goes to jail. It wasn't until he put his hands around my neck that I really thought to myself, you have gotten to yourself in a bad, bad situation. But despite telling us she feared for her life, she waited nearly a month to report it to police, choosing instead to hire a lawyer and planning to sue Sheen for money. She told the police one story on the night of the incident. She refused medical attention. She has some serious credibility issues. In fact, she and her attorney addressed that very question on Good Morning America. Why wait so long to tell the police? The process of coming here, speaking to you, um, the passage of time, hiring a lawyer, that's allowed her uh, to, to be empowered. Today, Anderson is scheduled to meet with the DA, who's considering a charge of harassment in the second degree against Sheen. And while rarely enforced to the maximum, it could mean 15 days in jail for the two-and-a-half men megastar. Anderson is also threatening a civil suit against him, alleging battery, assault, and false imprisonment. She has not yet filed the case. Whatever the next salvo in this legal war of words, it is unclear if the Sheen of TV's top star has dimmed. For Good Morning America, Ashley Banfield, ABC News, New York. And we are joined live now by Charlie Sheen's attorney, Yale Galanter. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Mr. Galanter. Let's go through your countersuit. You hurl some serious charges against Capri Anderson and her attorney saying they demanded a se seven-figure sum or what? What would they do? Or they would go to, you know, Good Morning America and uh, tell the lies and the fabrications that they told yesterday morning on your air. But as you, as you know, sir, we did not pay Capri Anderson anything for her appearance. Well, I'm not saying you did pay Capri Anderson. I'm telling you, you asked me what they told us. They told us that if we did not write them a check, they were going to go on the air and they were going to lie about what occurred that night in the Plaza Hotel room. They also charged Capri yesterday, charged that uh, she was offered a sum of money uh, by Charlie Sheen, by your client, for her silence. I want to show that part of the interview from yesterday. Take a look. He offered me a sum of money for my silence. How much? We're not going to get into that right now, George, uh, but it was a substantial amount of money. So he offered you a sum of money, and what did he expect in return? Just not to talk to anybody about it and to just go about my business. Your response? They wouldn't show you the text message or email or whatever they alleged to have. There was definitely an email string between her and Charlie. She was complaining that she didn't get paid her appearance fee, that her purse uh, got damaged or destroyed somehow during the evening, that her dress was ruined, and there was a whole string. The real issue, George, is why does she want to sell it? Why is she trying to make money on it? And why did her lawyers not let your producers and Ashley see it prior to the interview? We did, we did ask about it. She told us about it again. We did not offer any money uh, for the text. Now, I, I guess you spoke to our correspondent, Ashley Banfield, the other night, and you said uh, that Charlie was going to pay Capri $12,000 for sex, and, and then after the night went amiss, he offered her $8,000 more. Isn't that right? Well, there were, again, there were a number of text messages back and forth. She was complaining that she didn't get paid for the evening, that there was, uh, her purse was missing or it was damaged. And Charlie said, listen, whatever money you're out, I'll be more than happy to pay you. And that's the extent of it. But he did hire her for sex? She denies that. 
No, she wasn't hired for sex. She was hired to be uh, uh, the entertainment for the evening. She was present at the dinner. She went back to the hotel room with him. But there was never a sexual encounter, and there was never money exchanged for sexual acts. And as you know, she's made some very serious charges against your client, saying he put her his arms around her neck, saying he threatened to kill her, uh, saying he threw a lamp at her across the room. Your response to that? Well, there, there, there are a number of things that you have to consider. One is, on the night of the incident, and, she, and this, this aired last night on Nightline, she said to Ashley Banfield, you know, when the police asked me whether or not I was okay, I said I was fine. They asked me whether or not there was any physical violence or any type of verbal abuse. She said no. She said she wanted to go home. Well, we, we submit in our lawsuit the reason she wanted to get out of that hotel room was because she had Charlie's watch hidden on her, and she was afraid of getting caught. You know, she's told her friend she was fine. She put on her website a couple of days afterwards that she was totally fine. Um, you know, this girl has just changed her story. She has absolutely no credibility. What she said on your area and what she told the police and Plaza Security were just two completely different stories. Well, but are, are, you, are you saying on, on behalf of your client that what she charged yesterday on the air is untrue or not? It's totally untrue. It's a complete fabrication, and it's just a pack of lies. And you added now... It belies now the truth. It, beli it belies what we know the facts are. And, I and mean, the fact that any victim would wait a month and announce her story on Good Morning America just belies ima even imagination. If she was truly a victim, she should have gone to the police, should have filed these charges the night it occurred, or even a day or two afterwards to ex try and extort money in exchange for the threat of going on the air is just improper and, and that's why we're suing her and suing her legal team. And now you're saying that she stole Charlie Sheen's watch. Do you have any evidence of that? She completely denies that as well. Well, there were only two people in the room. She was the one that wanted to get out of there quickly and the watch is missing. But she left so with a purse that was I, slashed according to her. Well, listen, there were plenty of places to hide that type of a watch. Do you have any evidence? I mean, she's the one that wanted, she's the, yeah, we have evidence. There were two people in the room. She's told friends that she stole the watch. Uh, we have those statements from people, and that's why we allege that in the complaint we filed last night in L.A. And then finally, sir, so I take it from your tone this morning that there is no way there's going to be any settlement. You don't fear these potential charges of second-degree harassment from the Manhattan D.A.? I, I, I am confident that the New York Police Department and the Manhattan District Attorney's Office will see this for what it is which is a complete shakedown of one of the, you know, best actors on the planet. And that all this woman is after is money, and she's not going to get it. Okay, Yale Glanter, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thanks for having me. Now let's go to Juju. She's got the other top stories. Hey, Juju. Fascinating exchange.